Hi, I'm Wayne and this is Bass Door Woodworking. I went to a thrift store with my wife last weekend and I picked up these two really old block planes. My wife and I went to this really large thrift store and I went with the express intention of finding old tools and these were two of the old tools that I found. Um, this is a 22 inch and this is a 26 inch block plane. Um, nearest I can tell, the irons for these planes were made somewhere around 1830 and the block plane itself was probably shortly after. Um, there is evidence of this one being repaired in the past. This one looks pretty much original. This one is in nearly perfect condition. It has a couple little bumps and stuff like that. But this one had an issue on the bottom of the shoe where it looks like somebody had made a repair at one point and put either some kind of metal insert or brass or something and that had been lost. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I fixed this block plane and got it back into working order. The first step was to remove any old adhesive from the plane. I used a small chisel to gently scrape it away. I used a pair of calipers to measure the depth of the recess and cut a scrap piece of walnut to the same dimension on my bandsaw using my homemade fence system. Next I had to transfer the shape of the recess to the piece of walnut. To do this I settled on a whiteout pen to trace the outer edges of the shape. With the whiteout still wet, I pressed the walnut to it. This gave me my cut lines. And it was back to the bandsaw to cut out the rough shape. And to my homemade 10 inch disc sander to refine the shape. The piece was a pretty good fit. I mixed some walnut sawdust with some wood glue to create a putty which I used to secure the piece into the plane and to fill in any small gaps. I also applied some of the putty to the end of the wedge, figuring it would offer some protection when setting the blade with a mallet. I spent the next hour or so fixing the iron. I started by flattening the back and then resharpening the edge while doing my best to use the entire stone, changing patterns every few minutes in an attempt to wear the wet stone more evenly and to avoid high spots. Slowly but surely, I was moving up the grits on my stones, always making sure to keep the stone wet so that it was producing a nice fine slurry. I kept repeating this process until all dark spots were clear from the back and the edge of the iron, thus ensuring that the stone was making contact with the entire back and edge of the iron. I let the walnut wood glue putty cure overnight and came back the next day to see that it had set up really well. I now set out to flatten the bottom of the plane. To do this, you need to use a known flat surface as a reference surface. In this case, it was my work table. I laid long strips of sandpaper on my work table and clamped them in place. I simply moved the plane back and forth on this surface, checking the bottom of the plane every minute or so for flatness. Much like the iron, once the old surface is removed from the entire bottom of the plane, I know my surface is flat, and then I can move up grits and sandpaper to finish the base of the plane. Once the bottom was flat and sanded to 240 grit, I applied some paste wax to seal the bottom of the plane.
This process was a lot of work, but to be honest, it was a complete joy. Flattening the bottom of this block plane gave me a little preview of what this tool will be like to use, and then assembling the whole thing and doing a few test passes using my Moxon vise confirmed that it is awesome. The plane is extremely comfortable in the hand, and this plane is not going to just be a piece of wall decoration. I fully intend to use this plane in my shop. And that's all it took. It was quite a bit of work, but none of it was particularly difficult. Um, the longest part by far was fixing the edge on the iron itself. Um, it had a pretty nasty little chip in it, but I've got the chip almost all the way out and I've tested the plane and everything seems to be working really well. Um, if this repair on the bottom doesn't hold up, I can always go back and cut a brass insert for this. I just wanted to try using a different piece of hardwood first. It would be the quickest um, fix. But overall, I'm really happy with how this turned out and I can't wait to just start using it in more videos. So thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with new projects as they are released. And until next time, thank you.